Playboy memorabilia sells for over $2 million at a New York auction. Bunnies, funnies and money were hopping as more than 300 items from the Playboy archives were auctioned at Christie's in New York. The auction, which coincided with the magazine's 50th anniversary, exceeded all expectations. Playboy boss Hugh Hefner's personal stretch limo went for more than $77,000, more than doubling the expected $30,000. The 1988 Mercedes-Benz 560 SEI features leather interior, audio and video systems, and a bar. The successful bidder, Rick Snowden, had the privilege of personally picking his new limo up at the Playboy Mansion. He also earned the ride to tour Hefner's famous party house and was invited to the New Year's Eve bash. Snowden, a nightclub owner, attended the party with his wife. Snowden planned on using the limo for promoting his clubs. Also on sale was Hugh Hefner's personal nameplate, which he kept on his desk, as well as his little black book. Artworks from Playboy by legends such as Leroy Neiman and Alberto Varga stole the show, and some tripled their estimated sale price. Christie says the auction house was pleasantly surprised by the auction's results. While many men say they buy the Playboy merely to read the articles, it was the photos that sold like hotcakes. Images of Material Girl Madonna, Bo Derek, as well as the 1953 centerfold featuring Mara Monroe are now in the public hands. Munro's topless shot sold for over $16,000. The legendary photo came to symbolize the magazine's early days. Its edition sold more than 50,000 copies. Christy Hefner, Hugh's daughter, and now the president of Playboy, says the auction bodes well for the future of the magazine. Other photographs, letters, and Playboy memorabilia were also on the block, including one of the auction's big surprises, a manuscript by Jack Kerouac which sold for $71,000, more than double the estimated $20,000. The quintessential male magazine is one of America's cultural icons. And judging by the auction's success, it is proving that even at age 50, Playboy can still feed the imagination of millions of men around the world.